Hello everyone and welcome to the Orchid Saga. So yeah, last Saturday Landsberg and Orchids had an open house again. So of course I had to visit them uh, again. It's actually my third time and it's also the third time that they have a, uh, organized an open house. And I had a lovely uh, morning again. I went uh, to them, uh, to the Orchids uh, from Landsberg uh, with a friend and she was uh, accompanying me the, in the last time as well. And so she bought some orchids and I did as well, of course. Um, but we also went to an orchid show. That was the first uh, show uh, in my life that I went to. Um, so that was in a, a quite a nearby uh, city uh, from where Lensbergen is uh, located. So uh, we were on the road and so we thought, well, we make a stop there as well. And maybe I did buy some plants there as well. Who knows? We will uh, have a look at all of them uh, in this video. So I did set up my tripod and I will uh, place the plants one by one on uh, my up potting table here and we will have a look at them. And also I'm going to uh, talk about if I'm going to repot them uh, pretty soon or not. So I thought it would be nice to, uh, to include in this video as well. So let's start this video because there are um, are quite a few. <laughs> so let's start with uh, with the first one, and which is actually a Cattleya, a miniature, I think. And that's the only Cattleya type that I uh, bought. Well, at least Cattleya. I have a Cattleya type, I think, but uh, yet yeah, only Cattleya. And I really love this creamy yellow blooms. The lip is very yellow, very dark yellow, deep yellow, I should say. And the sepals and petals are a creamy yellow. And yeah, I just uh, really uh, like this one. And it has a uh, very nice fragrance. It's a sweet fragrance. So I, I'm really happy that I found this one. And it's quite a, it has quite a few canes on it. So maybe we have two one in, in, in uh, one pot. I see two very uh, small growth there, so it may uh, be two, but that's uh, that's okay, of course. Um, so yeah, this one, because of the new growth, as you can see, uh, I'm sorry, and also a new root there, is one that I, uh, and this is a fairly new growth here, this is one that I will repot pretty soon. So coming a week I will have, uh, have to repot this one. Um, and I do that as quickly because these plants do have quite often bush snails in them. So that's the only downside that I can think of. And also the media is old, but that's, that's normal. <laughs> in most cases it happens, but bush snails quite often when I get my orchids from, uh, from Landsbergen. And it's no complaint because the orchids are very, very cheap and beautiful. It's, it's, so far they are in a very healthy condition. So that's, that's just happens, especially when you have so many uh, orchids, it's just, uh, it just happens. But therefore I like to uh, repot them very quickly. This is one that I, uh, that I think can handle the repot uh, already, even though it's, uh, we have, we will go into fall and winter. I still keep watch my plants. If they have new growths, new root tips, that's a sign that I can uh, safely, uh, start repotting them and uh, grow them into self-watering. So this is the first one. I will put it there in the background. Let's uh, get on the next one. This is one you see more often on channels. It's that uh, Zygo and I do not name the, know the name, but I should be able to find it. And if I do, I will put it in the, in the video, but it's this purple one which um, which I do like, but I couldn't find a, a nice one. They are, when I do see them, they are very tiny, sometimes only one bulb or two. This one had a little bit more. It's a bit, a bit um, loose in the pot, so it doesn't have a uh, wonderful, great root system yet. But this is, uh, as we know with cycles, a new growth, and from that new growth, they start to bloom. And I, from, what I can see is this new growth not starting to make roots yet, but I think it will do pretty soon. As I turn it around, I see 
a root there. It's, it's inside of the pot. It's hard to uh, see, but that one has a growing tip on it. So I will keep an eye on this one, but this one probably will be repotted as well pretty soon. I just want to give it a little bit of time to adjust uh, because cygos can be uh, very uh, sensitive to uh, changes. But um, then I will repot it. And meanwhile, I'm grabbing another one. This one is so beautiful. I bought two cygos or hybrids, cygos. Uh, not sure if these are fully high um, zygo petalums. Maybe something else is crushed in with it. But look at those blooms. There were only a few of these guys, I think. Maybe four or five with thousands of orchids. So that's not much. And this one catches my eye and I just wanted to have this one. <laughs> and this is the same story. It's obviously putting up new growths, putting up spikes. And I hear, I hope you can see it, is a healthy green, green root tip. So I will watch that once for the come. And we have another one here actually. There, just above my finger. Just to see if they uh, continue to grow. Then I will repot them quite quickly. And I may take off the spikes, but I just want to see how they do. If they don't, uh, if the bulbs do not shrivel up, I will uh, leave the spikes. And that's with all my orchids. And here we have a next one. <laughs> Let me see. This kind of reminds me of a twinkle. I don't, it's not really a think, twinkle, I think, but because those tiny little blooms. And yes, yellow and white, it always gets me. It's a fairly big plant, so it's a uh, nice oncidium type with a new growth at least here and a more ex bigger one, more extended one here and one here. So yeah, this one, uh, this one I will be repotting as well fairly quickly because it has those new growths. Roots are on the way already, are soon to become. So I, uh, I think I can safely repot this one. It may, um, those blooms may uh, evade it, start to evade it quite quickly after the repot, but that's okay. I took some pictures. I, I have no idea which one this is. I do not have a name for it. If you recognize any one, uh, one of these plants, please let me know, of course, as usual. <laughs> so that's that one. I think that one is very beautiful as well. Then I have one very special one. It isn't in bloom yet, but as soon as it is, this is the spike. It has a very long spike. I will uh, show it to you guys. I didn't know what I saw. <laughs> uh, I try not to uh, get the, the uh, spike touching the ceiling. So I need to be a bit careful here. I'm just going to tilt it a little bit so we can see all of the plant. And maybe you can see it here, that white dot there, that's a uh, new root. But also on this end, whoops, and I just watered it, but it has a growing tip here as well. So this, and even more, I see one, two, three on this new growth on this one. At least three new uh, roots just starting. So this one is uh, good to, uh, for a repot as well. So, so far I, Basically can uh, repot all of these guys. But this one is a dancing lady type and it's orange. I never saw it. I, I didn't even uh, knew that the, these existed. But it's an orange, orange one. So I, uh, there were only four of these uh, orange guys. But, uh, oh, it's out of frame. Whoops, I'm sorry. Um, and they were already sold, he said. But I said, well, do you have an extra? He said, no, I don't have, but, well, okay, you can have one. So <laughs> I was over the moon, of course, because the other ones were in bloom. So I did have a quite a good look at the blooms and they are absolutely stunning, beautiful. So I'm really happy that I could buy that one. Okay, I'm grabbing the next one. I'm not much into these guys. I have a few, but this one I saw in a picture and I thought, yes, I, if I have the chance, I will buy it. It's not fully opened up. It will uh, get bigger, but it's a fairly big bloom already, as you can see. 
And I saw the name for this one, but I didn't make the tag yet. But it's something white, white lady, something like that. I'm not sure. And look at the voyage. It's beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, I thought I will buy this one as well. The creamy yellow, white bloom, fairly big. I really like this one. I like the voyage as well, the color. And this one has, I counted three new growths on the way, a very small one over here. So yeah, this one will uh, be repotted uh, pretty soon as well. I think uh, it can handle it. So that was number six. Yes, I have a number seven. Let's, um, whoops, grab it. <laughs> I think I have the name for this one as well. There you go. I think this is the Epidendrum Green Hornet, I think, is it called? I'm not completely sure because I, I, I thought the Green Hornet only put up one bloom or a few, but this one, uh, maybe two or three and not a whole bunch as this one did, but I'm not sure, I think it is because the blooms are very similar. So, of course, it still obviously is a no idea, but for me, for my notes, it's very handy to give them a name instead of a number. I like, uh, I like the names more. And it has a secondary spike. It has two growths, one here and one here. So it's going in two directions. Uh, but so far, I do not see any signs of new roots or root tips. So this one, I will wait because it's, uh, very in a blooming mode is <laughs> in mode instead of a growing mode. I will have a close eye on it. Of course, as soon as I see some root tips, green root tips, I might start repotting it. But this one is the one that I uh, need to wait on a little bit longer. Because uh, as we all know, fall is uh, almost there. So that's not the best time normally to repot, but I only repot when the plants are telling me. I do that always, so I'm not really following the books, but I really look at my plants. Yes, isn't she beautiful? And on the pot, let me try to get it out. It, it, it's not very secure in the pot, very stable. Let me first have a look at that spike as well. It has two spikes as we saw. It's a, with a little bit of wobbly in a pot. Um, it doesn't look very great, but you can see it can move it. Not even as much as I thought, but a little bit shriveling on the bulbs there. So yeah, this one uh, could do with a, uh, with a nice repot. But again, I will not start repotting this one because I don't see any root growth or uh, new growths yet. So I will wait. And it says on the, the pot Renensis, Renensis, something Renensis in it. I did have a look at Google Images and I typed in something like Orchid Renensis uh, Purple Bloom and I did find one picture. It was from Pinterest, I believe, with no name, of course, but it was the exact same one. So who knows, maybe you recognize it and maybe I will find it someday, but it's, it's, it's beautiful. I really, really like the contrast on the purple and the yellow here and the spotting, the pattern in the, in the blooms as well. So yeah. And these plants are very cheap there because you buy them directly from the, from the grower. So sometimes only five euros or eight or nine, very, very cheap. So, uh, that's why I uh, do allow myself to buy a, a few more than I normally would. And of course, there's so many great uh, uh, plants to choose from. This is something I think with Ragnellii in it, if you have a look at the blooms. It's a Miltonia cross. I'm not sure which one. They only had a few of these guys, but look at the blooms. The pattern, the purple and the spotting. I found this one to be so beautiful. I really, really enjoy my uh, Miltonias as well. 
growing them and they really seem to like my greenhouse where it's a bit warmer and more light so my Meltonians do very well we just recently uh, saw my video about the Morliana and the repot that's the biggest one yeah well, actually my uh, Meltonia Ragnelia is very large as well but yeah they really do enjoy the greenhouse and look at this new growths one here one there another one here and two over here so you probably guessed it already this one is uh, is going to be repotted fairly quickly as well again i might lose the blooms or they are probably shorter lived because of the repot but that's okay i will uh, i would yeah i like to take advantage of uh, this uh, new growths all over because these are about to put out their roots as the most of Miltonia do when they are at this size it, in, at least the ones that I have so yeah this is a perfect time to repot it again I know it would be even more perfect when it was spring or uh, summer and that's because of the light uh, we will have some dull days but I have artificial light and I will have my greenhouse at a uh, good temperature that they will keep growing they may slow down a little bit but so far i do this for uh two years now in a greenhouse so i i know that they should be fine then let's have a look yeah let's grab this one i saw this one somewhere on a channel so i should be able to find the name but i love it again those colors go so well together that that dark pink reddish lip with a bit of yellow green and again a hint of that that color of the lip in in the sepals and petals as well it's so beautiful this is obviously a brushier type it does look very very healthy it has beautiful roots everywhere very uh, healthy growth it's a little bit well yeah it's a little bit shriveled that might because it needed some water and it did get some water this this morning but we also see a very strong new growth here it did already put out some roots or oh, well actually quite some but i don't think they are too too uh, large yet too big yet so i think this one uh, would be fine when i would repot it so yeah, this one will be repotted fairly quickly as well. Once again, a good look at the blooms. So, so far, I think I mentioned only one, that epidendrum, that I will not, uh, no, exactly the, of course, the uh, renances, this one. So this one and the epidendrum next to it. Those two so far, I will not repot. Uh, yet and that one saigo the first saigo that i showed you i uh, i probably will report it fairly soon but i will uh, will wait until i really see those root nubbins starting to form then we have actually quite something funny <laughs> save the best for last my friend who was with me found this one also a miltonia type very beautiful the blooms are a little bit broken in them dam uh, damaged in the transporting them from one area to another one apparently but she saw, she saw this one and she thought it's like only the, uh, I, we could only find one of these guys in, in all those hundreds of orchids there <laughs> so i thought yeah i would like to have the one she said well i thought oh you would so you can you can have it but she did like it very well as well so i thought well i i uh, talked to her and I said well maybe if I can grow it on very nicely you can have a division and she was uh, she f it sounded as a good uh, as a good plan so we did agree but then we did go to the orchid show and I found this one and it's a little bit wobbling and try to get the other one in next to it even though the one on the right so this one which is out of screen <laughs> is deeper color wise as you can see but I think they could be the same Miltonia or at least very very close very similar so I decided to keep to keep <laughs> this one because this one has a tag and I will show the tag to you guys in a minute this one doesn't have a tag and she loved this one as well so we will, she will give 
get that one as a gift. And this one, like I said, I found on the uh, arcade show. Oops, look at that. I love it. Benotii, Benotii, Maltonia, Benotii. Let's focus. Maltonia, Benotii. So that has a tag, and I just like to be uh, safe on the tags as much as I can. Or sure, just how you put it. This one. It's a fairly young plant, as we can see, but it doesn't show any signs of a new growth yet. So this one I will not repot yet as well. I'm just going to wait for new uh, new um, growths, and then I will uh, will repot it. So another one that has to wait a little bit longer because. Uh, repotting Miltonias in the wrong season, they will uh, let you. Sh uh, they will show it to you when they're not happy about that. <laughs> Some orchids are a bit more forgiving. I'm trying to say, but a Miltonias not, and especially if they are not uh, as big. This one is a fairly young plant, so I will I will take some. Uh, caution there and uh, just repot repot it on the right time. And it doesn't matter if it's spring, that's not what I'm saying. I want those new growth and new roots. And look at this. Isn't she beautiful? And I had this one. It's a very tiny plant, but it did bloom for me. I had the exact one. But uh, I managed to, uh, to kill it. And um, I see a mealy bug running or something here on that flower spike. There, just above my thumb, so I will squeeze that, so I know I need to spray them, and I always do with new plants. Whoops, they are fighting. <laughs> um, yeah, again, yellow and white, I really, really love that combination. And I should have a name for this one somewhere, so I will put it in the screen, or I will show it to you later on. This one. There's another spike there and a heck of a lot of roots growing outside of the pot. It's dehydrated a little bit, but on the other end, I have a very similar one, my Pupakea Sunset, and they like to do this. So I think it should be fine. And this one, I hope I can show it to you guys. There, whoops, there's my finger. There is at least one new growth. And one is here, this end. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, this one it will uh, be reported. Whoops, fairly soon as well. I think this one is stunning. I love yellow and white. I keep saying that, but I, I don't know what it is, but I love it. <laughs> this one is fairly big, so I put it back on the ground. Well, I'm grabbing the last two <laughs> for this uh, video here they come look at that i mean seriously i like the shape of the bloom as well it's, it's i found this, this one to be so pretty in the dark red so i like my yellows and white and i like the dark red as well this one is i think the same one a little bit lighter in color, but I think uh, it's pretty much the same. Maybe not completely. I don't know. And I thought I would keep this one and give this one away <laughs> to my uh, sister-in-law. But I <laughs> did change my mind because I like this one just a little bit better than this one. <laughs> and she's probably not watching my channel. She just <laughs> sorry, she, she has no clue. But if she watches my channel, I pretty soon uh, will know it because she, uh, she she's not afraid <laughs> to tell you what she's uh, what she's thinking. So um, to uh, give her opinion, and I like that. Don't get me wrong; I really enjoy that when people do that because you don't have to guess what they're thinking. Just they're just being honest. So I like that. But so yeah, I think <laughs> she doesn't follow my channel. Anyhow, 
She did uh, remind me slightly last week when I told her that I would go for a visit. She said, well, uh, you know, in October is my, uh, my birthday. So there was a uh, hint there. So I said, yes, of course, I will, I, I will take a plant for you. She, she just grows a few family apples and she would like to try a, a different orchid. So she will have this beauty. This one is very beautiful as well, don't get me wrong. And with a yellow center. But like I said, I, I just prefer this one a little bit better because it's a little bit darker and more uh, red in the blooms. And I like the shape a little bit better. So let's find a spot on the table for these guys. I will uh, grab the camera and we will have a last overview at this uh, sort of hall. Uh, so yeah, I will, uh, like I said, uh, we'll give you a last look. So yeah, I put this one on, uh, on the ground for now, because as you can see, it's fairly big. <laughs> and the rest uh, did fit on my table. So yeah, there are quite a few plants, a few new ones, but I'm so happy with these guys. And you know what, if I turn out not to like them someday, I always can give them away if I want to or trade them or sell them or anything. So. So yeah, and they were very cheap. These plants are very cheap. So what can go wrong? <laughs> and I have the room. I still have the room. So uh, for to put them somewhere on the shelves, for example, over here, I have a very big area. I have a few Mesdevalias who could be put uh, closer together. And we do have some room on the floor there. This is my Oncidium dropping all the flowers. But uh, yeah, I will find uh, find some space and I have my slipper orchids over there. So the other one, uh, the new one will join them there as well. And for one exception, of course, it's this big one over here that I found, I think the first time that I visit uh, Landsberg. And so this one is coming from them as well. And it's doing so, so well. I give it a little bit more daylight because it's, uh, as you can see, it's in front of this, uh, this window. Because I think it does need that to make the spikes. Who knows? Anyhow, that's for a later video. We will do the updates as, uh, as usual. But this was uh, my uh, haul from uh, Landsbergen again and from the Orchid Show. And um, yeah, so we will uh, have some repots. I'm not sure if I'm going to film them. I may take some pictures. I have no idea. I will uh, see what I can do. Um, but I will do updates, so I, I like to follow them through fall and, and winter, so we can see if they, if, if what I talked about, if they do continue to grow and to adapt uh, uh, to the system, even in fall and winter. I did it once before, uh, but it's a bit of an older video now, and uh, those were on some Cattleyas, and they are still around. Nothing died from that video, but I thought, well, this is a nice opportunity to uh, follow them again. So that will be uh, at least coming uh, weeks on my channel, and I have way more updates, but I don't have uh, much time to film. I try to uh, film at least once, uh, one video per week, but maybe uh, I will do a few more, who knows? At least, um, or at last, I want to say thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. As usual, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like, give this uh, video a like. I would really appreciate it. And if you didn't already have, consider subscribing to my channel. It really would help me out. Thank you once again, and I hope to see you at one of my next ones. Bye-bye.